Hello! Today we're going to discuss current electricity. Current is when charge is flowing through a circuit. If you want to think of it like water flowing through pipes in your house. Okay, so the charge flowing through the circuit is just like the water that flows through the pipes. And the equation that you see there, I equals Q over T. I is our variable for current. Q is, of course, charge and T is time. So I, current, equals Q, the amount of charge, divided by T, the time interval through which the charge passes a given point. Our unit for current is the ampere, or amp for short, and it's equal to coulombs per second. In our water pipe example, potential difference is like the water pressure. It's what pushes the charge through the circuit, just like water pressure pushes water through the pipes in your house. Potential difference is the difference in the electric potential for two different points, and this is what pushes current through. Like in your ha in an outlet, there's a potential difference between the two prongs in the outlet. For a battery, there's a potential difference between the two poles of a battery. It pushes the current through the circuit. Potential difference is measured in volts. That's why it's most commonly referred to as voltage. A volt is equal to a joule per coulomb. Remember, it's the energy per unit of charge. We measure energy in joules, charge in coulombs. Some common voltages of things you may be familiar with are batteries. All the batteries that you use in your house that aren't like specified as a 9 volt or a 6 volt have a 1.5 voltage. Uh, so AA batteries, AAA, Cs, Ds, they all have 1.5 volts of potential difference, but they produce different currents. That's why they have the different sizes. Um, those are examples of direct current voltages. That's what battery supply is, direct current. That's what we're going to be discussing. But just for your knowledge, alternating current is what comes out of the walls in the house. In most of North America and South America and the Caribbean, the voltage supplied by a wall outlet is between 110 and 120 volts at a frequency of 60 hertz. And the frequency is the amount of times that the change, uh, the uh, current alternates directions um, in a given second, so 60 times per second there. In the rest of the world, pretty much except for t uh, Taiwan and Japan, outlets supply between 220 and 230 volts of potential difference at a frequency of 50 hertz. All around the world, you have differently shaped plugs, which would prevent um, your uh, electric devices from becoming overwhelmed by the wrong voltage or the wrong frequencies. So that's why when you go to foreign countries, you may have to use uh, adapters to plug in the wall and use, you know, like to charge your phone or charge your computer or something like that. What prevents the current from flowing through is called resistance. Okay, and this depends on the physical characteristics of the materials involved. It also depends on the temperature of the substance. Higher temperature means more resistance because the particles in that material are moving around more often, so they are getting in the way of the charge flowing through more commonly. Okay, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. Resistance is measured in the unit ohms, which is named after the famous scientist Ohm. And he actually came up with something very important that we're going to look at now, or in just a second, and that's called Ohm's Law. In a wire, we can measure the resistance, and there actually is a relationship for all the different uh, physical properties of a wire. Um, the resistance of a wire depends on three different things. Rho, which is the density, L, which is the length of the wire, and A, which is the cross-sectional area. The longer the wire, the more chance there is for the current to be diverted, so therefore the higher the resistance. The greater the cross-sectional area, the lower the resistance because there's more paths for the for through which the current to flow. So that's why the resistance is directly related to length, but inversely related to cross-sectional area. And again, this is just for a wire. Different materials would have a different row value that you would plug in as well. Ohm's law is the relationship between current voltage and resistance. Okay, we know that current is being pushed through by the voltage, so there's a, a direct relationship there. The higher the voltage, the more current that flows through. So if you have more batteries 
you know, in your calculator it takes four batteries probably. It means you need that extra voltage to push it through, but something less complicated like a remote control may only have two batteries, so there's less voltage there. Resistance is what prevents the current from flowing, so the current is inversely related to the resistance. The greater the resistance, the less current they can flow through. So this kind of makes sense there just based on the definitions of those terms with which we are familiar. The last thing we're going to look at is electric power. And anytime current is flowing through an object and it's using that current to do some kind of work, that means that there's work being done over time and that means that there's power being used. Okay, so sometimes you'll hear the term wattage and wattage refers to the rate at which electric power is being used. So different light bulbs have different power ratings on them. And it comes from the, the relationships we can use is that power equals current times voltage. So in a, an object, so say in a light bulb, there's a potential difference between the each sides of the light bulbs. That's the voltage. There's also amount of current flowing through the light bulb. In order to find the amount of power dissipated by that light bulb, we can multiply the current times the voltage. Okay? I've already said that power, electric power is sometimes referred to as wattage. So you know that it is again measured in watts. This is the third time we've looked at power this semester. And each time it's been measured in watts. If you want to do a quick unit check, Current is measured in coulombs per second. Volts are me voltage is measured in joules per coulomb. So the coulombs cancel each other out, and it leaves you with joules per second. And we know from our deep depth knowledge of mechanics that a joule per second is a watt. Thanks for listening. Thanks.